She's the promotional material, the anime protagonist, and the game's icon. Amya is the face of Arknights, but who drew her? This is the illustrator, character designer, and IP director of Arknights, Wei at W, or Hoshi Eve on Twitter. Hoshi Eve's style is composed of bold colors and loose brushwork, but there's much more that I love about the art style beside the obvious. Today, I'm going to go over the colors, value grouping, textures, and overall art style of Hoshi Eve, and build an illustration with what I love about the Speedleball art style. So let's start with the simple, the color scheme. Many illustrations have much blue and red dominating the image, and if not blue or red, green is used. These colors crowd the image, making the hue range pretty narrow. The simplicity is attention grabbing. The high value contrast also contributes to a more stark image. But how do I know that this has a broad value range? To check values, I can sample parts of the illustration and look on the color wheel, clicking on the RGB to switch to HSV to get the numerical value. For a more visual indicator, I use the HSV color slider directly. In this image, you can see that there are very bright parts up to 100, and very dark blacks almost to zero, these areas being the lightest and darkest parts of the image respectively, a variety of values that keeps it from looking washed out. But even if the values are all over the place, it's easy to find and identify objects in the image. You can thank this to the use of value grouping in these images, where the foreground, middle ground, and background have a specific range of values used to separate them. Here, the foreground has the lowest values used, and the background generally has higher values. This is used to give the image more readability as the silhouettes or shapes of each group can be more easily seen due to the difference in contrast while allowing the image as a whole a diverse value range. To continue, some of Hoshi Eve's works have clean rendering, but many more illustrations have a more painterly style, with lots of interesting textured brushes being used very loosely. This style of painting allows for more expressive strokes over detail. One brush I haven't seen a lot of artists use but is used everywhere in Hoshi Eve's works is this oval brush here. Some last things I noted was this halo effect used around the character. This further separates them from the background and emphasizes the character as the main focus of the image. And finally, the hair is drawn flowy but in bunched up sections with not many individual strands seen, which further defines the silhouette. This is important in character design, as for many good designs, you can identify the characters simply from the silhouette. With these points in mind, I then started my style recreation. So let's begin. The character I was painting was Reed from Arknights, and I started with a bunch of thumbnails so I had a general layout of the painting. As you can see, a hand is pulling her into the pond, because I wanted the painting to have a deeper meaning than just a pretty girl painted thighs up in the water and to connect it to the story. But you'll see later how I scrapped that concept. In fact, just after you see me do a rough estimation of the colors I will be using, you will see me scrap all of my hard work and time I placed in this line art. Now you can say that I did this because I realized the proportions were weird or that the pose was weirdly flat, but the real reason was because while my initial goal was to paint loosely like Hoshi Eve, I learned very quickly that painting loosely is very painful, mentally, because you have to constantly ask yourself if you're over rendering it, aka hiding the brush strokes and cleaning it up, or if it looks too messy. So my solution to this is that instead of cleaning this messy sketch, I was just going to do the usual. Make clean line art so I can quickly and easily block in the colors, purposely over render it, and then add textures later to imitate the roughness of Hoshi Eve's style. Of course, I did keep in mind the rest of the points I made during this painting, being to paint as large of a value range as possible and to use value grouping with the pond versus reed versus reeds versus the sky of the background, but that was my biggest mistake so far. Just look at the struggle of me trying to paint the hair messily, failing, starting over, being satisfied momentarily, adding detail to the hair, and giving up and moving to the next part of the painting because somehow I lost the ability to paint loosely. I wish I recorded myself during painting because the mental anguish I was in realizing that I would have to start over and reevaluate how I would paint it is almost torture. I felt bad that this wasn't a full body painting so I added the character Alter Reed in there. Not only does she fill the space in my heart, but she fills the weird empty space in the canvas I made when reorganizing the painting layout. If you squint, you can kind of see that she's part of a somewhat triangle composition. Reed on the left, Alter Reed on the right, and Reed's spear in the top corner. Now, I will say that the rendering of the clothing was pretty fun and easy, because if I used a color that wasn't dark enough, I could alter the value by using the level curves, and you will see me use this especially right before the painting ends. And you see the underside of the coat? 
I intentionally brightened this red and used it everywhere, because I noticed Hoshi Eve tends to place random colors in the hair and objects around the character to make them look more interesting. For the pond, reeds, and sky, you'd be surprised by how far the default thin gouache brush, the droplet airbrush, and the lasso tool can get you. And I made sure to put lots of particle effects, just like in Hoshi Eve's works, as they give texture to the painting. After making sure some of the blue of the sky was reflected into the pond, and adjusting the values so that there was more blue in the darkest values, I wanted to add an oval brush like Hoshi Eve's works as the finishing touch, but I couldn't find the brush. Solution? Make a bunch of ovals, decrease the opacity, layer them, and then use them as a weird texture thing in a failed attempt to make the painting look cool. And use the airbrush behind Reed to separate her more from the background. And done. Obviously, this painting has too many flaws to count as a style imitation. If I were to do this again, I should just bite the bullet with the rough rendering, especially with the hair. But I do think the value range is sufficient, and the contrasting colors do have that same vibe. And that red undercoat does look pretty similar to Rosmontis and Amy's clothes. So the fundamentals which I pointed out during my notes weren't lost, but mostly the superficial rendering details are what got me. It makes me both happy and sad because while I did fail the challenge of painting in Hoshi Eve's style, I do think it came out fine in the end. I don't think it looks particularly bad. Anyways, thanks for watching and let's see if I actually don't fail the next style recreation, which is Chuzenji's works. Anyways, see ya!